Hello there, welcome to Andy English News Bulletin. I am Bhavana Casey. In the beginning, we have the headlines. Controversies continue surge of COVID-19 cases. 276 out of 564 new cases recorded in Kathmandu Valley alone on Wednesday. He warns he is ready to use nuclear weapons in potential military conflict with the U.S. and South Korea as North Korean forces completely prepared. Nearly one million people in China's Wuhan under lockdown as the city records for asymptomatic cases. Move comes at China follows a zero COVID strategy. An eight-time European champion Germany to face England in the final of the Women's Euro final being held at Wembley Stadium on Sunday. Welcome back. You are with the Antiv English News Bulletin. Now we have the news in details. Number of coronavirus cases is seeing a rise of late across the country. 564 new cases of coronavirus and one death was recorded on Wednesday. Out of the confirmed cases, 418 were detected through the RT-PCR method and 146 through the antigen method. Ministry of Health and Population a total of four, uh, said a total of 4,454 4, swab samples were tested on Wednesday. Kathmandu Valley alone recorded 276 cases out of which Lalitpur had 41, Bhaktapur had 17 and Kathmandu, 218 cases. The collection of garbage in the Kathmandu Valley has resumed from today morning. Garbage collection was disrupted for the past one week as a two-kilometer road section to Bansareda at a landfill site from Sistol was damaged. However, Chief of Department of Environment of KMC, Sarita Rai, said the trucks carrying garbage from Kathmandu could not dispose garbage as the road section uh, to Bansareda is still in dilapidated condition. The Dumri Basisa Road section in Lamzung has been disrupted again due to flood and landslide with incessant rain since last night. Landslide occurred at Deurali Dada in Basisa Municipality Ward No. 1 caused the disruption, according to District Police Office Tanahu. The police said a vehicular movement has come to a halt as the debris of landslide with boulders at Ritte Bazar has blocked the road. The road section has witnessed frequent landslides since last year. With this update, time to go for a short break, but it's still to come we have. Welcome back. Now to more updates. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un warned he is ready to use his nuclear weapons in potential military conflicts with the United States and South Korea, state media reported on Thursday, as he unleashed fiery rhetoric against rivals he says are pushing the Korean peninsula to the brink of the war. Kim said this during a speech to war veterans at the 69th anniversary of the end of the 1950-53 Korean War. He accused the United States of demonizing the North Korea to justify its hostile policies and said U.S.-South Korea military drills showed the U.S.'s double standards and gangster-like gangster -like aspects because it branded North, Korea routine, North Korea's routine military activities and apparent reference to its missile test as provocations or threats. Now on to next update, almost 1 million people in the suburb of Wuhan, China's central city where the coronavirus was first detected, have been placed under lockdown. Jiangxia district residents have been ordered to stay inside their homes or compounds for three days after four asymptomatic cases were detected. China follows a zero COVID strategy including mass testing, streak isolation rules and local lockdowns. This has resulted in fewer deaths than than in other many countries. But the strategy is facing growing opposition as people and businesses continue to face the strain of the restrictions. Gas prices jumped after Russia further cut gas supplies to Germany and other Central European countries after threatening to 
after threatening to earlier this week. European gas prices rose almost 2% trading close to the record high set after Russia invaded Ukraine. Critics accuse the Russian government of using gas as a political weapon. Russia has been cutting flows through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline to Germany, with it now operating at, le at less than a fifth of its normal capacity. More updates line up on the other side, but before that, let's have what we have coming up next. Welcome back now to more updates. Australian Treasurer Jim Calmers has warned that the country's inflation will peak at 7.75% by the end of the year before moderating and normalizing in the years to come. Calmers on Thursday outlined to Parliament Australia's deteriorating economic outlook since the previous government announced its economic plan in March. He said some of the factors affecting inflation were outside of Australia's control, including China's COVID-19 policies and the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which is undermines energy and food in food security and dramatically pushes up the global prices. Fire crews have 32% containment on the oak fire in Mariposa County near Yosemite National Park. The wildfire has burned more than 18,000 acres since it started last Friday. It is now the largest wildfire in California this year. It forced more than 6,000 people to evacuate their homes. More updates lined up on the other side, but before that, let's have what we have coming up next. Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, posted its first revenue decline in history on Thursday. Revenue was $28.82 billion, down 1% from $29.08 billion a year earlier. Analysts on Avers had been expecting earnings of 2.5 uh, per, per share on revenue of $28.91 billion, according to a poll by FactSet. Meta's stock has lost more than half its value since the start start of this year. Now to sports. Eight-time European champion Germany will play England in the Euro 2020-22 final at Wembley on Sunday after they beat France in a dramatic semi-final. After a quiet opening 40 minutes, Alexandra Pope put Germany ahead with a volley from Savenza Hutas cross from the right side of the penalty area for her fifth goal in five games. Sunday's final takes place at a sold-out Wembley, which will have a capacity of 87,200, and the match could set a new attendance record for a match in European Championship. Well, with this, we come to the end of this English News Bulletin. But before we say goodbye, let's have a quick reminder of the major stories. Country saying continued surge of COVID-19 cases, 276 out of 564 new cases recorded in Kathmandu Valley alone on Wednesday. Kim warns he is ready to use nuclear weapons in potential military conflicts with the U.S. and South Korea, adds North Korean forces completely prepared. Nearly 1 million people in China's Wuhan under lockdown as the city records for asymptomatic cases. Move comes as China follows a zero-COVID strategy. An eight-time European champions Germany to face England in the final of the women's Euro final, final being held at sold-out Wembley Stadium on Sunday. That's all we have in this edition of English News Bulletin. We shall see you again with next round of English Bulletin at 6 in the evening. Till then, have a great time ahead and stay tuned with us. Namaste.